Okay, in a previous video, or part of the series, I discussed uh, positive with turns and positive path without turns. And when you're using direct mode, which is mode position two, direct mode, absolute position mode, um, you have this modulo mode here. And when you specify a positive or a negative, and you have with turns active, then it's a positive or negative with turns modulo mode. Okay. When it comes to dealing with records, which is what I'm going to deal with now, uh, this is not used. So we can simply turn this off now. Do a store. Okay. And when it comes to the record table, I've made a modification, and I've taken away the absolute move in, in three here and I've put in modulo positive with turns and uh, and then there's just positive so positive path and positive path with turns basically so I'm gonna reset the controller back to its zero position here okay so I've put it back to zero modulo is inactive we're at zero 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 straight up and like I said, here's the record table positions that we're going to use here. So I'm going to put it into record mode. Sorry, wrong cursor area here. And we're going to do position number two. And the target is going to be Four, so I'm going to put it into mode two, which should be only positive, and I'm going to execute mode four, which is a target that's past the modulo position of 360, and we'll see what happens here. Take a look at the shaft, and it moves 100 degrees. So it does not consider going past the one revolution and then adding the 100 degrees. It simply goes to the 100 degrees, which is in the modular range. So now I'm going to tell it to go back to zero, start over here. And for that, I'll just put a position of zero, zero, two. Actually, let's turn off modulo. And uh, one, one, so it should be inactive, yes. And then make it go to position zero. Now we're back at zero. And now I'm gonna activate modulo positive with turns and do the same move. Okay, so position is gonna be three. Only positive with turns is active now. And then execute the same move. And we will see that it will go around one revolution and stop. And there we go. So that explains how that works. And because these are relative moves uh, and relative to the current set point, it should go an extra 100 degrees next time as well as the 1 degree. So if I execute this again here, it should come around and right around here. Yep, and it, it'll keep adding 100 degrees to the rotation every time it turns.